This is my new toy. It's a uh, PC Engine flash cart. I got it from Team Neo Flash. It's got a USB loader so you can load your games on it. Uh, I got the 128 meg version with the save states. Um, here it is right here. Uh, that's the battery. And here's the reset switch. I'm going to go ahead and do a little tutorial on how to add games to the card and then I'm going to do a video showing uh, how it works. Before you can add games to the uh, actual cart itself, you're going to need to install the uh, software that comes with the cart. Um, I have a newer updated version and I'll give a link to that in the description of this video. And if you'll notice, the uh, card has two sides. One says to GBA, which is Game Boy Advance, and the other one says to PCE, which is the PC Engine. You're going to take the Game Boy Advance side and plug it in to the USB loader. Now it fits very very tight but you can break it if you push a little too hard but once it's in you'll know it's in uh, you can't really move it out otherwise. Then you're gonna plug this into your USB port. Um, I recommend inst let, installing the actual software and let it install the driver before you plug this into your computer. Okay it's time to install everything so go ahead and download uh, the package I provided in the um, download uh, in the um, video description and extract it to your desktop. There should be two files. What you're going to do is you're going to run the actual uh, programming software installer first. Now it's good to choose a directory other than um, program files especially if you're running Windows 7 or uh, Vista um, because if you don't, you're going to have to run it with admin rights, so you'll have to like right click. It's just going to be a pain in the ass for you. So just go ahead and select uh, C colon backslash and then uh, Neo2. Select install. It'll take a few seconds. It doesn't take too long. It'll ask you if you want to install the uh, driver for the USB slim loader. Say yes. And it'll bring up the little device driver installation wizard. Just click next. It'll say Windows cannot verify the publisher of this driver software. Say install this driver software anyway. If you're unable to install the driver software, you might have to um, press F8 when your computer's booting and turn off driver signing. Okay, just go ahead and click on finish. And then uncheck run Neo2 uh, Pro Manager and click finish. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take that second file, the uh, PCE BIOS.bin, and you're going to copy it to where you installed the Neo2 Manager. You're going to go into the folder that says Manager and then you're going to rename the old PCE BIOS uh, dot bin to dot old. It'll prompt you about you know changing the file extension. Just say yes, and then paste the new one there. Uh, that file that we're replacing is a newer version of the menu. It looks a lot cooler. The other one's just kind of plain text. It's not not too nice. This one at least has like a graphic in the background and everything. And it looks pretty good. All right, now it's time to go ahead and plug in your USB slim loader. Um, I recommend plugging it in without the actual uh, flash cart in it. Windows should automatically install the uh, driver software. Shouldn't take too long.
Okay, now go ahead and um, run the Neo2 manager. Just maximize it there. And what you're going to do is you're going to plug your USB, uh, your uh, Neo Flash cart into the slim loader. Remember, use the uh, 2GBA side. and then do a refresh it'll automatically see that it's a PC Engine cart if you notice I already have some games on there but uh, we're gonna start from scratch so what I'm gonna do is make sure PCE is selected you'll see the gold bar around it then you're gonna click format and then you're gonna select standard format for both for the menu format and the ROM format make sure that the menu type is PC Engine and then you're also going to select PCE 128 meg fix. Do not su uh, select support ROM fat. Just go ahead and select OK. It'll say, are you sure you wish to format? Say yes. Now this is going to take a while. It's, um, it's basically doing a full format, kind of like when you do a hard drive, when you do a full format, um, you know how it takes a long time. This is going to do the same thing. The reason why we're doing this though is because it'll report any errors it finds on the flash cart. So if you have any errors you can send it back to Neo2 or at least message them and let them know what error message you got. I'm going to fast forward the video a little bit because uh, this is probably going to take about 10 minutes or so. Okay, now that the format's done, you'll see that you have nothing on the card. What you're going to do is you're going to go to the right where it says PCE Global. You're going to select the region of your console. Make sure you select the correct region of your console. If you select USA, you can still use uh, Japanese TurboGrafx games. This just tells the console that it is a USA cart and it will allow it to boot up. Alright, so now that that's selected, you're going to go ahead and start loading some of your games. So, mine are on my desktop here. And here's my TurboGrafx-16. And we'll put on AirZonk. So you just highlight it, left click, I'm sorry, double click, and you'll see it appear right here. Now I'm going to load some uh, uh, Japanese game here. We're going to go to Gunhead. Okay, there you have it. Now, the only thing you have to do now is click on Burn. And it'll write the files to the actual flash cart. And you'll be all set. Okay, everything's um, been written, and we're ready to try it out. Okay, uh, here's the card. As you can see, it boots up into this menu, and it has the two games I just added. Um, let's try AirZonk first. As you can see, everything works fine. Picture's great. 
it's all running right. Now I'm just going to press the reset button on the cart. And we will try a Japanese game. Here we have Gunhead. Awesome, awesome game if you haven't played it, guys. As you can see, this runs beautiful as well. Now, uh, here you have it. You have Japanese games running on a American TurboGrafx-16 without the use of a converter card. Uh, definitely check out NeoFlash.com and uh, pick up one of these cards. They also have uh, multi-cards for Nintendo 64, uh, Super Nintendo, and the Genesis. Uh, I plan on getting each one of them, and I plan on doing a review of all those as well. Have a good one.